Let's do it. Take Columbus, Teddy. We're telling everybody out there to ride that Columbus Blue Jackets wave, getting to the what the uh, Eastern Conference Finals for the first time in their careers, or should I say in their short franchise careers. Should be interesting to watch. NBA playoffs, Teddy, not enough for you, not enough for me. Only one game tonight? Sure. Let's just fire up the rumor mill once again for the summer, which never ends. Can you picture it, Teddy, in the NFL, in the playoffs? You know, we have the first wild card round, divisional round, championship rounds, talking about, hey, next year is Aaron Rodgers going to go down to be a Miami Dolphin? Is Tom Brady going to retire? Is this player moving on? Well, in the NBA, they do that. Durant and Kawhi all of a sudden link towards the Nets as they're trying to make a run towards a championship this year. Where's Kyrie going? We don't know. How about Tobias Harris playing for the Sixers? Yeah, I'll look at the Nets next year. It's unbelievable when you take a look at the NBA, how they fire up these camps and get these rumor mills going. Two months left in the playoffs. I'm sure we'll hear everybody, Teddy, being traded in the offseason. This is what happens. We only have one game available tonight. We might as well fire up that trade mill. Yeah, and let's be real. There's only six weeks left in the playoffs. It's not two, a full month left for the NBA. But this Raptors-Sixers series, okay, the loser of this series, that team's getting blown up, all right? Whether it's Tobias Harris and Jimmy Butler, bye-bye. You know, whether it's Embiid, all right, I don't know what we're going to do with him. Uh, J.J. Redick is, needs a contact extension, too. I mean, if Philly doesn't get out of the second round, that team's gone. It's the exact same story in Toronto. Okay, Kawhi going to stick around if the Raptors don't get out of the second round? I don't think so. The Raptors don't think so. So for all the talk off the court, what really matters is what's going on on the court. The winner of this series, there's hope for the future. The loser of this series may well be entering into rebuild mode sooner rather than later. Fascinating behind-the-scenes circumstances. And let's pay attention to the body language and the team chemistry. We're watching these games. There may be some edges. When it comes to that, Teddy, this series is almost like bowling, trying to pick up the spare because you need the two pins that you're trying to knock down. So if you roll the ball down there and drill the one team out of the playoffs, the pin goes over. And what happens next year? You knock players off the team as well. It's very astute call by you there because you're right. If it goes down, Kawhi's probably going to end up in L.A. or move on. And then the Philadelphia 76ers will say, hey, look, the coach might be out the door. These players might be out the door. So a lot going on right here.